Hello and welcome to CryptoCoin.News. And today in altcoins this week, Ethereum set sail to Constantinople. Crypto jacking ghost haunts corporate networks. Japanese exchanges want to tighten your belt. And CoinCheck comeback will include a US wing. This altcoins this week is sponsored by C3C. C3C connecting creators, consumers and advertisers. It would seem that Japanese crypto exchange CoinCheck looks primed to stage a larger comeback than previously anticipated. It was reported this week that the exchange bought by Monix Limited in April, just three months after falling victim to the largest crypto hack in history, will be linked to a new US-based exchange TradeStation Crypto Incorporated. TradeStation Crypto will be a subsidiary of TradeStation, itself in the ownership of Monix Limited. CoinCheck has yet to reopen its doors since losing more than $500 million in the January hack, but appears to have satisfied strict Japanese regulators with Monex CEO Oki Matsumoto hinting that a newly licensed CoinCheck could reopen as early as next month. Moving on to Japan, as Japan's regulatory authorities grapple with CoinCheck, another organization in Japan is hoping to keep small investors from going bust by limiting the amount of money they can trade. The Japan Virtual Currency Exchange Association, or the JVCEA, a self-regulatory body set up to improve standards across Japanese exchange platforms, has called on exchanges to place restrictions on smaller investors to ensure they have enough disposable income at the end of purchasing crypto to put food on the table and pay the bills. How it plans to determine who or what constitutes a small investor remains to be seen, as is how the exchanges will decide just how much money a person can afford to invest, while still keeping the lights on at home. If the power goes, there is nothing quite like a spooky story around candlelight. Next, we have some news from researchers at Kaspersky Lab. They have, however, found a ghost that you will only need to fear when the electricity is running at full tilt. Experts found a new malware that attacks corporate networks and uses their power to mine crypto. Crypto jacking, as the activity is known, is nothing new, but it is unusual to find malware that operates at this scale. Kaspersky has dubbed the new bug Power Ghost, presumably so they could call themselves the Power Ghost Busters when they find the fix. They may have their work cut out for them, and recent reports suggest that crypto jacking has overtaken ransomware as the cybercrime of choice for today's techie extortionist. And finally, something from Ethereum developers. They have indicated that work has already commenced on implementing the code for Constantinople, the network upgrade that follows on from last October's Byzantium. However, there is no confirmation yet on when the upgrade will be fully complete. The aim of the upgrade is to increase efficiency in the network, thereby limiting fees and speeding up transactions. So far, implementation has commenced on upgrades to specific uh, protocols within the Ethereum blockchain, affecting how block hashes are stored and also how smart contracts interacts within the overall system. The developer meeting last Friday did not address one pressing concern that has been at the center of widespread debate among members of the Ethereum community, the future of its proof-of-work consensus. Since announcing last year that it intended to switch to a proof-of-stake consensus, there has been fierce debate around whether this is the correct way for the blockchain to evolve. Casper, the POS system that Ethereum plans to adopt, is currently being tested, and no doubt we will have many more news stories on that topic before its final implementation. Staying with Ethereum, the largest altcoin had a steady half week, opening on Thursday at $472 and reaching a high of $482 later that day, before easing back to the mid-460s by Sunday. XRP was fairly stagnant, reaching about $0.46 cents US on Thursday, but failing to make that mark again for the rest of the week, closing on Sunday at $0.45. Cents. Bitcoin Cash fell on Friday to $785 US, having opened Thursday at $830. It rallied back to $819 by close and gained another couple of percent in value to close on Sunday at $826. EOS dipped after opening at $8.52, but has managed to stay above the $8 mark for the week, with a low of $8.03 on Friday, followed by a bounce back to $8.23 on Sunday. Stellar looked set to pass the 35 cent mark for the first time since May, but fell just short with a high of 348 cents on Thursday from 33 cents opening. It too fell back on Friday to below 30 cents, but its decline was short-lived and it was trading just over the 30 cent mark on Sunday. 
The Friday dip was in response to the announcement that the Winklevoss twins' latest attempt to gain regulatory approval for a Bitcoin ETF had failed. But as with Bitcoin, the dip was short-lived and all five leading altcoins bounced back without quite scaling the heights of last weekend. And that's all we have this week. I'm Stanford Rigonski. And I'm Helen Moss. Remember to subscribe. Until next time.